Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of 2 raised to 5x plus 2 dx. So we have here integrals of exponential functions with any constant base a except the base e or the natural number. So we will use the standard formula, integral of a raised to u du equals a raised to u over ln a plus c. But first, let's try to use substitution. So we can let u be equal to, so when we are dealing with integrals of exponential function, we usually let u be equal to the expressions on the exponents of the constant base. So that is 5x plus 2. So therefore, we can let u be equal to 5x plus 2 and get the differential of both sides. Differential of u du, differential or derivative of 5x plus 2. For the derivative of 5x, that's equal to 5, plus the derivative of 2, 0. Then don't forget the dx. So simplifying, we will have du is equal to 5 plus 0 or simply 5 dx. So what we want here is just the dx from the original integral. We don't need this extra coefficient of 5. So let's eliminate this by dividing both sides by 5. So we will have 150 u equals dx. Substituting, we will have the integral of the base 2 raised to 5x plus 2, which is equal to u. And then this dx is equivalent to 1 fifth du. Let's put this 1 fifth in front of the integral. We will have 1 fifth integral of 2 raised to u du. So we will have 1 fifth times integral of 2 raised to u du applying this formula. So it's equal to a raised to u over ln a plus c. So a here is the constant base, which is 2. So we will have 2 raised to u over ln a, which is 2 plus c. So we can have 2 raised to u over 5 times ln 2 plus c. For the final answer, you transform back the u in terms of x, 5x plus 2. So we will have 2 raised to 5x plus 2 over 5 ln 2 plus c. Alternative form is you can make this coefficient of 5 in the ln be the exponent of the 2 here inside the ln. So it's the same as 2 raised to 5x plus 2 over ln 2 to the 5th or ln 2 to the 5th, it's 32 plus c. For number 2, we have integral of 3 raised to x, e raised to x dx. So notice that we have two different bases, constant base 3 and the natural number base e. They are both raised to x. So we can combine as a single base the product of 3 and e using the power of a product law of exponent because they are both raised to the same exponent x. So it's equal to 3 e quantity raised to x dx. And therefore, this will be the value of the constant a here in the formula. So evaluating this integral, it's equal to 3e e raised to x over ln of a, which is 3e plus c. So this is the final answer. Or you can apply product rule for the logarithm. So we will have 3e raised to x over you can split this into sum of two ln, so that's ln e plus ln 3 plus c. But we know that ln e is equal to 1, so we will have ln 3 plus 1. So this is another form of the answer. For number 3, we have the integral of 4 raised to square root of x over square root of x dx. So we can apply u substitution first. We let u be equal to the expression on the exponent of the base 4, which is the square root of x, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u du. For the derivative of square root of x, take note that it's also equal to x raised to 1 half. So applying power rule, we will have 1 half x raised to 1 of minus 1 or x raised to negative 1 half dx. 
So we will have du equal to, transforming into positive exponent, it's equal to 1 over 2 x raised to 1 half dx or transforming x raised to 1 half into radical form, it's equal to square root of x. Notice that we have created this other term on the integral, dx over square root of x, which is this one. But we don't want this extra coefficient of 1 half. Let's get rid of that by multiplying both sides by 2. So we will have 2 du equals, cancel the 2, dx over square root of x. If we substitute, we will have the integral of 4 raised to the square root of x, which is u. And then this dx over square root of x is equal to 2 du. So this 2 is constant. Let's put in front of the integral. We will have 2 integral of 4 raised to u du. So 2 times integral of 4 raised to u du is 4 raised to u over ln of the constant base 4 plus c. Final step is to transform back the u in terms of square root of x. So we will have 2 times 4 raised to square root of x over ln 4 plus c. For number 4, we have the integral of 5 raised to ln of cosine x tangent x dx. So let's use your substitution. We can let u be equal to ln of cosine x, getting the differential of both sides. Differential of u du. Differential of ln cosine x, so its derivative is 1 over cosine x times, by chain rule, derivative of cosine x, that's negative sine x dx. So applying identity, negative sine x over cosine x, it's equal to negative tangent x dx, which is the other term on the integral, but we don't want this extra coefficient of negative 1 here. Let's get rid of that by dividing both sides by negative 1. So we will have negative du equals tan x dx. Substituting, we will have the integral of 5 raised to ln cosine x, which is u. And then this tan x dx is equal to negative du. So... Put this negative in front, so we will have negative integral of 5 raised to u du. So negative integral of 5 raised to u du, 5 raised to u over ln of the base 5 plus c. So the final step is to transform back the u in terms of ln cosine x. So we will have negative 5 ln of cosine x over ln 5 plus c. Now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.